pinpoint asteroids in orbit and hurl y'all thousands of miles an hour towards it, towards it, towards it. What's up, Earthlings? Apparently, there are some flat earthers that are confused about this specific phenomena. Let's see if we can help them out and explain to them how this observation is possible in the heliocentric model. To understand why this happens, we first need to learn a few things about the rotation of the Earth and its orbit around the Sun. A solar analemma is a graph or a plot that shows the position of the Sun in the sky at a single location at the same time of day throughout the year. The rotation of the Earth is not exactly 24 hours in total. It's 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4 seconds, which means one rotation doesn't bring it back to the exact position every day. An extra 3 minutes and 56 seconds is needed for the Earth to rotate back to its same position as the day before. Also, while all this is going on, the Earth has moved in its orbit around the Sun. To demonstrate this, go outside and put a stick in the ground. Mark the position at the end of the shadow that the stick makes. Do this every single day at the same exact time and you'll notice that the position changes day after day. The resulting figure 8 pattern is a result of two factors. The Earth's elliptical orbit around the Sun and the Earth's 23.4 degree axial tilt. If the Earth's orbital path was elliptical but its axis not tilted, the solar analemma curve would be oval shaped. At the equator, this line will be a straight line spanning from left to right or east to west. If the Earth's orbital path was circular, its axial tilt would have the effect of generating a perfect figure 8 analemma curve, such that the top and the bottom loop would be the same size. But because of Earth's elliptical path around the Sun, one part of its path is closer than the other. This means the Earth moves faster around the Sun when it's at its perihelion or closest, which is around the winter solstice than when it's at its furthest distance, or aphelion, in the summertime. This difference in orbital speed gives the analemma its uneven figure 8 appearance. The orientation of the analemma is location dependent. The angle of the figure 8 will change depending on your latitude. In the southern hemisphere, the analemma will be reversed, with the larger part on top. Here's one I created using Space Engine by changing the date by one week and taking a screenshot. One for every week of the year. What you see is 52 individual screenshots put together in a short video. Now, if this model wasn't consistent with reality, meaning if it wasn't created using the exact sizes, distances, and location measured and observed in the globe model, it wouldn't match. But for some odd reason, it does. Once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And check out the rest of my videos if you're interested. And as always, peace. Pinpoint asteroids in orbit and hurl y'all thousands of miles an hour towards it, towards it, towards it, towards it.